Hello everyone, myself Amit Kumar Mane, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today I am going to share interview questions which will be asked in one of the top CRO of India which is Paraxin. So recently our students are selected, like four students are selected and before also they are selected. Uh, so there are uh, there uh, was opening in the drug safety associate in their organization. The pay skill is also good but I just want to share some of the interview questions which may be asked during the interview so that all you all, you also get benefits that these kind of the questions and you have to prepare accordingly. So basically before starting uh, the interview question I just want to share you that you need to know information about that particular organization. The organization name, the organizations, uh, that boards, like how many members are there and actually the founders and all their core team right and then you have to know about the various services provided and various locations they are associated with okay so all these information you have to know then you can we can start with the interview things so uh, so uh, mostly uh, depending on the profile your interview will uh, questions will be different so here in the pharmacovigilance basically from the fresher point of view the expectation of the industry should be you must know the basics information about your field so as pharmacovigilance is definitely related to the pharmacology which is the core subject of your graduation or post graduation so whether you are doing bachelor's or whether you are doing masters or life sciences your pharmacology should be very good okay your basic concept should be clarified so first of all they will check whether your basic concepts are clear then they will move to the further interview questions so there are three rounds in the paraxel first round is that is the virtual or in-person interview. Second round is assessment test. And third round is face-to-face -face interview. That is manager round. So three different different rounds or 100 should be. So the first is uh, that is the uh, first round of interview should include the following questions. First question they might be asked about the pharmacology. So what is pharmacology? It is the first question. Pharmacology is the science and activities related to the drugs and its interaction on the body. So it includes pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics basically. The next question will be what is bioavailability? So basically bioavailability is a rate and extent of drug which remains in the systemic circulation. Okay, in this circulation. So if it is the parenteral preparation, the bioavailability is 100%. Next is what is bioequivalence. So bioequivalence is basically uh, we will use this term while we are manufacturing any generic drug and we are comparing this with the in innovative drugs. So the potency, the everything, the characteristics, microbiological uh, characteristics. So all things should be same as per the patented as per the innovative drug. Okay, so this is the comparison called it as bioequivalence. Then the next question might be asked that is the what is half life? The half life is the amount where the drug degraded half of its initial quantity. Okay, then next question will be therapeutic index. What is therapeutic index? So it is the range basically where the drugs uh, show its effects to the maximum air peak. Okay, so like likewise you have to share the answer and at the same time you can also give one example along with it so that uh, the HR will understood you are understanding better with that particular concepts. Okay, so this is all about the pharmacology. Next is pharmacovigilance. They will ask about pharmacovigilance. First is what is pharmacovigilance? So pharmacovigilance is basically science and activity related to the monitoring, assessment and detection of uh, adverse drug event. The second question will be what is the difference between adverse drug event and adverse drug reaction? Basically adverse drug reaction is a known but adverse drug event is unknown. Okay, so if any adverse drug reaction is happening that is already research. Okay, somewhere it is in the literature. So you, we, you, we have the various treatment to re, uh, minimize that side effect. So that is adverse drug reaction but adverse drug event is unknown. Okay, so basically we are monitoring adverse drug event in the pharmacovigilance. Okay? So the next question interviewer might be asked that is what is the benefit of pharmacovigilance. So first benefit that is the safety and efficacy of the drugs. They maintain proper safety and efficacy. Second might be 
like if any adverse event is happening then if pharmacovigilant department is not there there are a lot of even uh, uh, the patient's uh, health might, might be hazards okay so like a thalidomide tragedy okay or even more than that lot of other complications happened before before the uh, pharmacovigilance started so that kind of the his uh, like uh, his situation might be created then uh, financial burdens are also there on the patient once the disease is created so we have to check and we have like uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, complications if the patient is not able to pay that particular amount it creates uh, illness issues it creates a very dangerous effect on that particular patient self next is what uh, what is the role and responsibility of drug safety associate basic role is to monitor adverse drug event okay next role is narrative writing properly synchronized writing that is proper chronological order writing okay next is updates about the adverse drug event reports and submit to the that aggregate reporting department and aggregate reporting department submit to the regulatory authority so there are a lot of roles which involves basically safety and efficacy of particular medicines next question might be they will ask about aggregate reporting what is aggregate report writing the aggregate report writing is basically the writing that is the all information collected from the case processing or individual case safety report departments and that so that is properly uh, that should be documented validated and submit to the regulatory authority of india or any respective country next question is what is susar suspected unexpected adverse drug reaction okay what is psur that is the long form periodic safety update reports okay so uh, even dsur development safety update reports okay so dsur is term basically used in the usa during the drug development stages and posur is the periodically like like half yearly or yearly we have to submit the safety data to the regulatory authority okay so these are the some of the terminologies they will ask in the first round so this is the first round which includes all the pharmacology and pharmacovigilance question second round is all about the assessment this is the essay writing basically there are two types might be they will give essay writing any particular different diseases in the different diseases you have to write and there all the information like which kind of the drug is used and everything related to it okay but the second question might be asked about narrative writing they are giving one adverse drug reaction form adverse drug reaction form and according to that we have to write the narratives okay so narrative as i say it is a chronological sequence for example any patient directly says to the doctor that i got suffered from the headache and chill or vomiting once i take the medicines but he is not telling exactly uh, in the chronological sequence so whatever the report writing is there by the physician they will give it to you and you have to write it according to the chronological sequence like so first the patient uh, feel there is a fever then uh, he visited to the doctor and doctor give some kind of the medicine after returning to the home once they take the medicines they might be uh, like observe there are rashes on the skin and then they repeatedly going to the doctor and sharing this information that once i take the drug the rashes on the skin observe so likewise this is the chronological sequence then doctor uh, like uh, 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 reported this uh, for to the company for the adverse event or reactions so likewise this is the chronological sequence you have to write accordingly this is the second round of the interview third round is basically manager round it is all about the hr questions they will ask about your individual uh, information then your interest weakness strength then they will ask how long you will be there in our organization then they might be asked that uh, why you are choosing our organization only then their visions like how what should be you thinking after 5 years where should be you okay so like kind this kind of information are there they check the resume and according to the resume they will ask the questions and most probably if you are certified like you are doing a certification course they will ask most question from the certification courses information and that will be more beneficial if you do the certificate the the hr will assume that you will have a proper information basic information about pharmacovigilance that will have become a proper impact on the hr and there are high probability of selections so uh, for our student they ask about the all the skills acquired during the certification course and in our certification course we'll to, we told uh, to the student about the pharmacovigilance that basic information then metra coding narrative writing aggregate signal detection 
okay then aggregate databases used in the pharmacovigilance so hr asked those questions only okay so i hope this all the information you got it there are three round of interview and you have to prepare pharmacology and pharmacovigilance for the same uh, for the fresher you must have confidence that the you must have the clear all the concepts related to it okay so uh, i wish you all the best to everyone hopefully this video will help you to prepare yourself about the paraxel interview for the pharmacovigilance for the drug safety associate position for any such videos or information about the career and even interview preparations and the various certification courses kindly subscribe our channel don't forget to share this video to the all the people thank you all the best